Hello everyone, welcome to Craft Chocolate TV. My name is Dylan with Manoa Chocolate and we are going to talk about the Cocoa Moth. Ephestia elutella, aka the warehouse moth, the tobacco moth. In our case, it is the enemy of chocolate makers. It is the cocoa or cacao moth. And these little guys, they start as a moth, lays an egg, it becomes a larva, becomes a pupa, and becomes a moth again. Cacao moths are harmless. They are yet the enemy of chocolate makers. We don't want them in our chocolate factory, and they're a total pest. So we want to try and eradicate them or kill them as the beans arrive to us. They arrive in the cacao. When you have cacao moths in your beans, they're in the raw form because they die when you roast them, but you'll see all this, these little balls and these little um, webbing. And the bean is almost lighter. It's just full of these little balls and larva. This is called frass, and it's, it's excretion from the moth. Not something you want to consume. However, this is in every chocolate ever. It just comes from origin. And so when we roast, it's a kill step. It's totally fine after that. You can eat the moths. They apparently taste like uh, a nutty flavor. I remember being at, at Zotter and they had an entire chocolate line and it was just different uh, insects and maggots and millworms and stuff like that. And it was surprisingly nutty. So you can eat the cacao moths. I've never done it on purpose but it's in every chocolate bar and all of us have eaten cacao moths. Let's kind of jump into a little more details on how you can deal with them. You can heat treat it. You can heat the bags of beans for an extended amount of time at a certain temperature and they will die. Let's say you had a heater in a container full of beans and it got over, I wanna say it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit for five days. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember exactly because we've been doing the opposite. We've been freezing them. So if you freeze the cacao, in our case, they come in pallets, eight bags on a pallet, it's about 500 kilos. You put it in a big freezer and after seven to 10 days, all the eggs and the moths are dead. And that way, when we receive them in our factory, we don't have any outbreaks of moths. For, I don't know, the last 12 years, I've been running around the factory going like this, trying to kill moths and catch them. And I've gotten pretty good at it, but at a certain point, there's too many. They kind of come in seasons, they all hatch. One cacao moth can lay two, 300 eggs if the conditions are right. And those all become moths again. They start that process. So freezing them, kills the eggs, and that's the important part. Uh, they like to lay eggs near a food source, so it would be near flowers, uh, tobacco, cocoa. That way the babies can become moths again and start the process all over. So uh, I, I guess don't be too concerned if you ever see one in a chocolate bar. It's definitely something you should advise the chocolate maker about. It's a total bummer but it is harmless. And that is the cocoa moth. I hope that helps shed some light if you've ever seen what looks like a maggot, and it's not a maggot, it's a larva. If it looks like that, please let the chocolate maker know. I hope this helps. See you next time, aloha.